Hi, I'm Diana Lynn with Band Candy, and I am with the most ultimate rock star here, who I have been a fan of since I was a very little kid. So, anyway, I want to ask you who you are a groupie for. No one. No one? You're not a not groupie. Anymore. Not anymore. We have but Vinnie I Vincent was, here. I was the Beatles. Uh, Seriously. Praised, you know. I was I love John Lennon. For my my birthday is next week, and for my birthday last year, my husband brought me to the Imagine thing in Strawberry wow, Fields, and, really? it was just, and then one of the guys oh. played Imagine. And it was just it was a magical moment oh, in my that, life. Well, that's as, that's as close as I'm gonna get. You know? So, what made you want to be a rock star? Like, who was it that was it just in you, or was I, there anybody that was an influence for you? Uh, good question. Um, Growing up is everything, you know, mm -hmm. so people have to move you, you right. know, and when you're moved at a, a, an early age, uh, your life almost sets itself and mm -hmm. it dictates where you're going. So from my early age, the Beatles were everything to me, everything. So and I, I see the same sense of how I was with the people that come with here. Did you ever get to see any kids. of them perform? You never did. No, never got to and see any it of was them. my dream in life to work with Paul oh. or John as as their or Ringo or George no, as their definitely. backup player. It was my dream. That was your dream. But uh, never happened. And, uh, so is that who you were in your room as a kid, like imitating? Oh, God, and yes. I used to sing. I used to try so hard to sing like John Lennon. Did you? Oh my God! I used to come home. Uh, I was in eighth grade. Used to come home and drive my grand. My gramps lived on the second floor, and we, in those, at that time, we had a, a hi-fi mm -hmm. record player, and I turned it on ten nights. I sing my Beatles songs, and my I know my gramps. He was a great guy, but he allowed me to grow up uh -huh. without without saying anything. So being in eighth grade, you know, I come home for. Um, lunch, you know, and it was like 11.30 to 12 or something like that, and I'd be singing Beatles songs and then go back to school. Nice. So that was how it was for me, you know. I'm a big uh, Elvis fan. The Elvis So that was a, a huge yeah. influence for me, and I named my son Presley, and I told you yesterday, oh, I brought my son to see Kiss for his oh, eighth birthday. So last night I told him that, you know, that I might, I should have brought him with me, because it would be awesome if he was here right now, but I told him, and he was like... That's so cool. He, he was like glowing. Wow. And no, ironically, my, my husband just gave me a box of Kiss dolls, like all different ones, wow. as a pre birthday present. That's amazing. For us to share because oh, we're that's like, amazing. that's what our connection yeah. is. And wow. it's so awesome that, you know, you bring a lot of, you know, inspiration to so many people. You know, I mean, Thank a lot you. of musicians Thank and everything. And like, you're one that people, there's, there's the Vinnie Vincent fan. You have like your own own like cult. I don't know if you realize. Like, there's a whole. I'm starting to realize. You're realizing that, yeah. this, right? But I didn't realize that before. You totally do. We have friends it. like, and I'm a pole dancer, mm. so I I dance to you know your music. You many, do? I do. do. I do. Yes, yeah, so on my YouTube channel. You're gonna have to see the video. Wow. I have to do. You have to give I'm me sure the. Okay. Poles. I should have bought a pole. I should. If you bought a pole, I could have done okay. that. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I don't think she wants to. That's not the kind. <laughs> But yeah, so if you look at my channel, you will see that oh, you know, me uh, rocking wow. out. So I have like a rock and roll pole fitness. So that's my like workout. That's my, really interesting. Yeah. And so. you dance to my songs? I do, I do. I dance to my. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now that I'd love to see. Because uh, you should come. I would love to what see. What state that, do you really? live in? Uh, Tennessee. Tennessee. Mm -hmm. oh, so I have to go to Graceland and come and stop no, there. No, you don't have to do there. that. No. I'm working. I'm working in Pennsylvania tonight. Do you travel? I do. do you I travel, travel around. around. Mm -hmm. wow. But where where my car takes me? So, really? New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania. Different clubs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm like my, I manage myself. And you have a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Seventy six wow. Diana Lynn. God, that's and then amazing. I started my own clothing line, Band really Candy big. Clothing. Because wow. I'm not a groupie. I'm a you know Band Candy. Mm -hmm. See? Very nice. So, nice. well, thank you so much. Thank you. It's such a pleasure, and I'm going to have to connect you to uh, watching my videos. Vinny, what's your website? I'm sorry? What what's your it? website, sir? Uh, VinnieVincent.com. And that um, has everything you need. And uh, are you on my fi official Vinny Vincent Facebook? I'm going to have to Please. make sure that I'm on the right one. And I then hope I'll you connect guys you and send you the videos. Okay, and, okay, that'll be And wonderful. as long as you don't get mad that they're on there, because like, sometimes people are like, I don't want my music on stuff. So, so this is this your... your um, yeah, this is I'm your a Bada Bing girl from The Sopranos. Bada Bing? So I did The Sopranos, and I'm 
that's my thing. Stevie Van Thant was my boss on the show. What so, do you mean? What you do you know, because he ran the club. He yes. ran the Bada Bing. Yes. So when I'm sliding up and down the pole, it's... Oh, were you? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yep. That's why I got the Bada Bing shorts. Oh. Off. You know, the funny thing is, I was watching... That was my favorite show forever and ever. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, that's so Oh, cool. God. I, I would never miss two seconds of oh, it. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So... So you uh, saw me topless on there, by I, the way. I did. I did. Now I know. <laughs> I was. So it was kind of like, on, in real life, it's not. How many episodes did you do? I did three. Did you? Mm -hmm. wow. I was there for a lot of filming anyway because I work so in the club. Mm -hmm. But they filmed it. So I actually met James Gandolfini mm -hmm. when they were filming the pilot. Mm -hmm. And I was outside smoking a joint. And uh, <laughs> he said, oh, it smells good. And he came over and we became friends from that point on. Uh, what a good guy. So, that that yeah. was a loss. That was huge, a loss. Huge, huge. Wow. I was crushed when that happened. Yeah. But I remember one, one episode. Uh, when uh, told him to wrap up. Tony was playing it, pool, and I all of a sudden look at it. So, sorry, thank guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. What a Thank pleasure. You